Hello guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always so much for being here. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea why I'm watching this in December. For some reason, I associate Die Hard and Lethal Weapon together. I don't think they're actually joined in any way, shape, or form, but in my mind, they were linked. Maybe because after I watched Die Hard, so many people told me to watch Lethal Weapon, and so I just kind of assumed this was a Christmas movie, but I literally have no idea if it is even remotely taking place at Christmas time or anything. So, we shall see. I know Mel Gibson is in this, and that is all. I think it's kind of like a heist movie, like a action-y good guy, bad guy, I don't know, kind of like Die Hard, I guess. So if it is like Die Hard, I had, Carly and I had so much fun watching those two, and so I would not be disappointed. And I have not seen a Mel Gibson film that I did not love, actually. So that's, that's a big, you know, thing to say. So with that said, let's get started. If you're new here and you like this video, don't be afraid to hit that little thumbs up. You could also subscribe if you feel so inclined. Here's my Patreon. You get to vote on polls, early access, full length reactions. Let's watch Lethal Weapon. Sleigh bells. It is jingle a Christmas bell, movie. Jingle. jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Well, I am much happier now. To rock the night away. Hello. <gasps> Matching nails. Girl. <sighs> oh, thought there were two of them. Breakfast in bed, cake in bath. Okay, he's the angels in the outfield guy. I love him. Big <laughs> Your beard's getting gray. Kind of makes you look old. Do men take baths? <laughs> he seems troubled a little. Michael Hotsacker? I've been trying to reach you for three days now. I haven't talked to him in 12 years. How come I never heard of Michael? I just never talked about him, huh? This is my New Year's Eve dress. It's beautiful. Good <laughs> birthday. Uh oh. Happy birthday, Raj. Oh, he's a cop. He must be a detective because he gets to wear the suit. Uh, the jumper's name is Amanda Hunsacker. Hunsacker? Hunsacker. Yeah, yeah, the parents. Michael and Claire. Claire. You know. Find out about it. Who's, who's, who's paying the bills? He knows the parents. And they've been trying to reach him for three days. Oh. Hello, honey. Give me the number for Michael Hunsacker. His daughter just dove out the window. Hey. Huh? Tasty, smooth. How much for how much? You want it all? Yep. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> all right. It's gonna cost you a uh, hundred. What that much? A <gasps> hundred dollars for that much crack? Forget it, you jump. One hundred thousand. One hundred thousand oh. dollars. But look, I tell you what, I got a better idea. I take the whole stash off your hands for free, and you can go to jail. Hey. He's a cop? Didn't he just eat it? This badge ain't real. You ain't real. You sure are a crazy son of a. <laughs> hey, nose is in the dirt. Uh, Three down and one loose in here. Is dead, dead. Give me a gun, I'm up. Oh, he is a real cop. Drop it, prick. Hey, shoot him. I'm on you. Shoot him. What is he doing? <gasps> Holy crap. Come on, take it. Uh, is he tripping? He seems very sad. Don't you dare. Stop! That's not the same girl, is it? Oh! Is he serious right now? Please don't! I miss you. 
Holy crap, that was a heartbreaking scene. Are you telling me you think Riggs is playing some kind of a game? Wife of 11 years was recently killed in a car accident. Oh. He's a tough bastard, all right? He's on the edge. You got some news on the Hunsaker case, Raj. They're not calling it a suicide. The surprise is someone doctored the pills. Every capsule was loaded with drain cleaner. She goes to tell you you're breaking in a new partner in on this. Real burnout on the ragged edge. That's him, isn't it? God! Oh. Raj. Meet your new partner. <laughs> They're partners! So they've been contrasting their lives the whole first part of this. He's like a family man, you know, and... Nine millimeter Beretta. What you got in there? Boy and Smith. A lot of old timers carry those. <laughs> How far apart in age can they be? They are too heavy into martial arts. I suppose we have to register you as a lethal weapon. But I'm bummed. Now, we both know why I was transferred. Everybody thinks I'm suicidal and that nobody wants to work with me. Or they think I'm faking to draw a psycho pension and nobody wants to work with me. I don't want to work with you. Hey, no. Ain't got no choice. Well. Who are you? That's hardly important, but if it matters, you may call me Mr. Joshua. Mr. Joshua? I don't think this whole setup's funny. You're using mercenaries, for Christ's sake. Don't... What does that mean? Hey, man, what the f is wrong with you? What is... Uh, what? Oh, hey, man. Mr. Joshua, your left arm, please. What? Oh, hey, man. You guys are crazy, man. Why? Why are we doing this? Is that to prove his loyalty? You wish to make a purchase, yes? Yes, yes. Jesus Christ, yes. After Friday night, we'll make delivery at that time. Have the money ready and no tricks. If you try anything, you'll have to talk to Mr. Joshua. Joshua, Joshua is Gary Busey. The autopsy report showed that Amanda was poisoned. Even if she hadn't jumped, she'd still be dead. She was murdered. Why did you try to get in touch with me? Somebody told me you were working out here, and I thought maybe you could get her out. Get her out of what? Get her out of the stuff she was into. She was making uh, videotapes. Oh. You could just get her out and help her. Oh. I want you to find whoever's responsible for this. Please, I know you can do it. Just find them and kill them. Just kill them! You find them. You find them, and you kill them. You owe me. Hey, what did he mean when he said you owed him? Served together in 1965, uh, the Drang Valley. Saved my life. Why are the hot dogs? They're always eating in movies. Look so good to me. I don't even like hot dogs. Put the sirens on. Huh, Kenny? Oh, this movie is a lot of this. Hey, man, who is this guy? Salesman name is Cleary. You qualified to talk to Jumpers? I've done it before. Okay, you're elected. No guns, no jujitsu. Ju Roger. 10-4. Uh, oh. <laughs> Because his name's Roger. <laughs> Riggs, homicide. He's right over there in the air. That hair. Merry Christmas. <gasps> Please leave me alone, leave me alone! Look, I'm I'm just gonna come out there, okay? Oh, touch me, I'm gonna jump! I mean, this being this far up just makes me dizzy. You know, you're you're not the first guy to think of this. Uh, you won't try nothing? I promise, I'll just talk to you. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. Okay. Come on, let's smoke. Hey, you leave without me. See this key? Bye bye. Now you can jump if you want to, but you'll be taking me with you. Oh my. I'm jumping! Do you wanna? Well, then that's He's fun. crazy! What? I wanna do it. I wanna do it. He is in trouble. That was probably very not protocol-ish. You want to kill yourself? Oh, for Christ. Shut up! You want to die? Yes or no? Do you want to hear that sometimes I think about eating a bullet? I do. I even got a special one for the occasion with a hollow point. Look, every single day I wake up and I think of a reason not to do it. And you know why I don't do it? It's the job. Doing the job. Now that's the reason. Take my gun. Don't nibble on the barrel. Pull the trigger. You shouldn't tempt me, man. Put it in your mouth. What is this? Reverse psychology? That can't be... It's gonna be blank. Ow! You really are crazy. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go and get something to eat. <sighs> Want me to drive? No, I'll drive. You get in that side. He's just like, this is normal. I didn't know that it was your birthday today. No, it was yesterday. Well, I have, you know, happy birthday for yesterday. S sincerely, happy birthday, man. Thanks. 
Maybe we'll stay alive long enough for me to buy you a present. That's the least I can do after all the kindness that you've shown me. They're gonna become buddies, aren't they? Right? Hey, do we have a warrant to go in here? We don't need a warrant with the gate closed. Hey guys, go on in. Make yourself at home. Get the door. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I'm thinking probable cause. Ah! Uh... Get your hands on that tree and face each other. Face down. Oh my leg. Man. Now we question him. He's got a gun. Oh my gosh. He had to shoot him though, right? He was gonna shoot him. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. Sorry about all that. I said it out there. You saved my life. I'll bet that hurt to say. They're having a moment, a little bit. A little bit. How are you doing? I am doing all right. How are you? Oh. I want you to be. Uh, Martin Rick. How are you? Uh, this is my wife, Trish. I don't think I knew his name was uh, Martin. He doesn't look like a Martin. You ever go fishing? I used to go spear fishing with a snorkel. Didn't catch anything much but a cold. Oh, she's crushing on him. Thank you. Yeah, call me Martin. Martin. Uh, this is Mr. Riggs. <laughs> You uh, know anything about boats? I don't know how much they cost. Okay, you sail this thing. What's wrong with you? It's not a sailboat. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't make things complicated. That's just the way things get. Oh, you mean a man hunts like his murder? Did I mention that? I didn't mention it. <clears throat> you don't have to say a word. I can read your mind. You got one dead girl, one dead guy. Dead guy kills a dead girl. We kill a dead guy. Pretty easy to me. A sugar daddy's dealing drugs. She says something or did something and saw something she wasn't supposed to. He pitches off the balcony into the suite by and by. It's, I'm sorry. It's just a little too easy. You know, it's just too neat. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> you, you got a hell of a nice family there. Thank you. Well, look, I enjoyed the meal. Thanks a lot. I'm booked. But thanks anyway. He's so hard on his poor wife's cooking. <laughs> Gonna be that bad. I do it real good, you know. Do what? When I was 19, I did a guy in Laos from a thousand yards out. A rifle shot in high wind. Even 10 guys in the world could have made that shot. It's the only thing I was ever good at. That was kind of cryptic. What does that say? Amanda and her friends? Oh, her videos. I don't get it. The night Amanda Hunsecker died. What was the name of that hooker who witnessed Dixie. Dixie. Three cities not a usual Dixie. Turf Dixie. Name is Dixie. Someone was in bed with Amanda Hunsecker. Up till now, we assumed it was a man. Suppose it was Dixie. Disgusting, but okay. Dixie put the drain cleaner <laughs> in her fist. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming up, just warming up. Hey! Hey, step aside, old man. I'm really liking their dynamic, actually. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Going over there for a cup of coffee. Yeah. <gasps> what in the world? Probably not. Thin, very thin. Holy crap. Do you think Dixie was out? Was Dixie's house? This is deeper than we thought. Part of the device. This is real pro stuff. I haven't seen anything like this since the war. Bunch of kids playing this morning. One of them saw a guy. No one's supposed to check that meter for at least another month. My name is Detective Murtaugh. What's your? No. Don't tell me name, Alfred. Oh. Alfred. Oh. How old are you, Alfred? Six. <laughs> I saw him. Great. Pitch him in your head and think what he looks like. Can you draw him? Mm hmm Oh, we're gonna put on an APB on Big Bird. That's cool. <laughs> was he white? Mm hmm What color was his hair? Brown? Blonde. Mm hmm Blonde. His hair was blonde. What did he have on? Jeans? It was paint. Paint. I don't know. Painted? Mm hmm Tattoo? It was that. Like that? Mm hmm I saw it good. 
What does that mean? Roger, that's a special forces tattoo. Special forces? A special forces tattoo. Mercury switches. What the hell have we gotten into here? Oh, for a second I thought they were thinking it was him. Okay, no. Special forces tattoo. Your daughter wasn't killed because of something she was into. She was killed because of something you're into. Roger, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Hey, Mike, keep your hands away from your pocket, okay? Take it easy, man. Easy. When you called me the other day, you were going to blow the whistle, right? You were going to spill your guts so they killed your daughter. Oh, I didn't think about that. It goes all the way back to the war. I ended up working with a group called Air America. They secretly ran the entire war out of Laos. When in, we burned the whole thing down. We killed everybody. We also formed a plan. A couple of years ago, Shadow Company got together again. But we still had our list of sources in Asia. We've been bringing it in ever since. Bringing in what? Heroin. Two major shipments a year. If you were getting cold feet, why did they kill Amanda? Why not just kill you? My company, the bank, makes everything look great on the tax reports. He's being very forthcoming right now to a cop. I'm gonna burn it down. I wanna know about your next shipment. I wanna know where it's coming in. I can't you. tell you that. I wanna know you. Oh my did not see that coming. Sacker spoke to the police, sir. The police may know everything, the whole operation. Joshua, I think it's time we turned up the heat. Oh, it's this weirdo. Hey, listen, I'm looking for a guy. Had this girl in his stable. You know this girl? No, i never seen her before. Sure, why? What are you doing? I'm a police officer. <laughs> Did they shoot him? Freaking Mr. Joshua. <gasps> Oh, I'm pissed, Roger. No, I'm pissed. The guy who shot me. The guy who shot me. Same albino jackrabbit son of a that did Hunsaker. <gasps> He's blonde. Tall. No, we got a body for you. Male, Caucasian, age 17. Third Ocean. About two blocks from your house. Yeah, sure. He's probably blonde with big dimples. How'd you, you know, know that, Sarge? Over. Hey, get in here. What's the matter? What? Not his family. Just gave a description of the kid my daughter's dating. The bad guys? This wouldn't be connected to the boyfriend, would it? Oh my gosh, this is his house. His house. Please no, please no, please no. A bastard's got my daughter. No. What is it? What is it? Nothing. Get back in your room. This is escalating very quickly. You have a very beautiful daughter. If I were you, I would stick by the phone to find out where to meet us. He killed the boyfriend and took her. Okay, uh, we gotta call everybody. Here we go. I want Murtaugh taken alive. He may not talk. We have his little girl, he'll talk. Sickos. You know they're gonna kill her, don't you? <gasps> and if you want her back, you're gonna have to take her away from them. You shoot, you shoot to kill. All you gotta do is just not miss. I won't miss. Are you really crazy? Or are you as good as you say you are? You're gonna have to trust me. Here we go. We don't want your daughter. Just want to know what Hunsacker told you. Victorville, sunrise tomorrow. Be there. They better not hurt her. Oh, he's gonna be like a sniper guy. They seem pretty serious. Holy K. Oh, that's a lot of people. Yes, you look very cool and tough, tough guys. Let me see you, then I come quietly. Daddy? I'm here. You come with us? Girl takes a walk. I don't believe them. She's alive. She's gonna die. She's gonna die my way, not yours. You're left, you're left. Walkie talkies, they need walkie talkies. Come closer and we all die. No, I don't think so. <laughs> It's a smoker. Holy crap. Where the hell is he? Damn it, it's rigs. Holy crap. Don't try it, son. You're not that fast. Who's this guy? We got rigs. Yes, sir. Ugh. Now what do we do? They're chasing after her. Oh my gosh. 
General Peter McAllister, commander of Shadow Company. Oh. Helicopter is literally trying to land on her. I don't know what she does. Oh. Why don't you save your strength? You're gonna need it. Since we have Murtaugh, we don't really need you. We have a shipment of merchandise to deliver. We showed up to deliver our heroin. We're surrounded by 50 cops. Would be too bad. I wish I could believe you, but unfortunately, I don't. Oh shoot! He actually looks scared. I told you everything I know. It's called electric shock treatment. We're in for a long night because I don't know. Oh my gosh! Oh. Go spit. It's getting nowhere. No. Sorry, pal. Say goodnight. Oh. Holy crap. Don't you dare touch her, you filthy scumbag. Spare me, son. It's over. Oh. My. Gosh. McAllister! Who's next? <sighs> ah! It's not Joshua. Is the big boss guy killed, though? Is this a bowling alley? I'm glad that guy didn't win Dancing with the Stars! You so bad! Give me some backup and take care of the girl! Oh, he's on foot. He is... Is this General McAllister? We already killed General McAllister, right? Uh, oh, he's still driving. A flaming car. Oh, okay, civilians! He got my car! He can't get away! Nope, that main guy is still alive. Kill that cop. No way you live. Everyone's getting away! No way he lives. Oh my gosh! They were just tortured. The slippery son of a got away. What do you mean he got away? Son of a knows where I live. Excuse me, sir. May we help you? <gasps> Oh my gosh! Tell me, what day is it? Dad. Damn Christmas! Uh, please don't be in there. They just did that through his house on purpose? Looking for your general friend? Yeah, he's barbecuting his nuts on Hollywood Boulevard. He really wants to kill him. What do you say, Jack? Like a shot at the title. What does that mean? What the freak? They're letting him go and just karateing? Just keep the citizens clear. What? I don't understand. <gasps> Frick! This is weird. This. Oh gosh, I hate when they do that. Oh! Oh! just shoot him but they're letting them do this okay I'll allow it okay I mean makes no sense Come on, let me take him. Oh, oh did you hear that he is raging no Martin is supposed to be winning don't love that
They need to go to the hospital. Oh, they love each other. Oh. Give this to your dad, okay? Uh, a present for him. Tell him I won't be needing it anymore. It's a bullet. Well, he'll understand. Oh. Rich, after all we've been through, you think I'm gonna eat the world's lousiest Christmas turkey by myself? I'll tell you a little secret. I'm not crazy. I know. Oh, good. Let's eat. Well, I, I think your daughter kind of likes me. You touch it, I'll kill you. <laughs> hey, you mind if I bring a friend? <laughs> I don't think Burbank the cat's gonna like this. <laughs> and another Christmas song. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was crazy. Man, Mel Gibson is just a good actor and very likable in his films. They, you know, Oh, you gotta love the buddy cop movie. I loved their opposite and their dynamic and it combined like some funny stuff with some like really horrifying stuff with some, you know, like investigative figuring it out. <laughs> it was kind of fun. No, that was not a Christmas movie. You can't just throw one Christmas song in at the beginning, one at the end and put lights on the houses and have that blonde guy be like, GD Christmas. <laughs> like, come on. Die Hard was more a Christmas movie. I heard that there's more of these and they just get better. Maybe for a little bit. I would watch the next one. I would happily watch the next one. Nothing says Christmas like heroin and suicides and lots of jujitsu on the front lawn, shooting people. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. I weirdly am into these like action movies. Enjoying them. I mean, it had some of that 80s cheese. Like some of the things I was like, Oh my gosh, they can say that? But, you know, Mel Gibson had the 80s mullet, somehow pulled it off a little bit. <laughs> it's the 80s, man. Movies were magic, it was cheesy a little bit, and it, it was fun. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. See you again next time.